Ukraine has the ability to completely destroy the Russian Federation's Black Sea Fleet, which it has deployed near Novorossiysk. This opinion was expressed on Channel 24 by military expert, pilot instructor and retired Ukrainian Armed Forces Colonel Roman Svitan. He recalled that according to the Russians themselves, on the night of November the 15th, drones attacked Krymsk in Russia, not far from the Kirsch Bridge. At the same time, the drones could probably hit the Russian airbase. It is currently known that 50 UAVs were used, while the Ukrainian side has not officially reported an attack. According to Svitan, the airbase in Krymsk was home to Russian tactical aviation, which they used to attack southern Ukraine. At the same time, Krymsk is located near Novorossiysk, where the Russian Federation transferred the vast majority of the surviving Black Sea Fleet, and therefore the local aviation also covers Novorossiysk Bay and the terminal. The destruction of this air defense sector is also an opportunity to finally approach the destruction of the Novorossiysk port and terminal. The expert said, Recall Russia's Krasnodar region came under a massive drone attack recently. One of the targeted districts hosts a military airfield. Governor Venyamin Kondratiev said that two municipalities in the region were targeted, with Russian air defense intercepting approximately 36 drones over the Krymsk and Krasnoarmysk districts. In Krymsk, debris from a drone fell on four residential properties, damaging the roof of one house and a car, according to Kondratiev. In the Krasnoarmysk district, drone debris allegedly caused damage to the roof of a private house. No casualties were reported. The Russian telegram channel Astra cited local sources suggesting the drones may have been targeting the Krymsk military airbase. Astra noted that earlier reports from local officials claimed 46 drones had been intercepted over the Krymsk area. Astra said that his statement was later removed without explanation. The Russian Defense Ministry later said that its forces had intercepted 51 Ukrainian drones overnight, including 36 over the Krasnodar region, 10 over the Azov Sea, 3 over Russian-occupied Crimea, and another 2 over the Belgorod region. Outmanned and outgunned on the battlefield, Ukraine has turned to homemade drones to try to exhaust Russian combat capabilities as much as possible from afar, targeting Russian military industrial complex facilities, air bases, or oil refineries. While Ukraine regularly claims attacks deep into Russia, it is difficult to verify the authenticity of the reports and the scale of the damage inflicted.
Ten servicemen escaped from a military unit in the village of Kochenyovo in the Novosibirsk region of Russia. This was reported by head of the Kochenyevsky district, Yevgeny Antipov. Information is being disseminated about an incident on the territory of the military unit of Kochenyovo. I ask you to remain calm and not to trust unreliable information. According to the Kochenyevsky district department, of internal affairs, the 10 people from the category of those who had previously voluntarily left the unit without permission. Within 30 minutes, they left the territory of the village by taxi. No crimes were committed on the territory of the district. Four people were detained outside the Kochenyevsky district, he wrote. As reported by the NGS publication, citing a source about 30 people from all over the central military district who had previously voluntarily left their units for reasons unrelated to service, were seconded to the military unit in Kochenyovo. In a chat room of local residents of the village, a local police officer reported that the escapees were unarmed. All of the escapees are the so-called 500s, as deserters are called in military slang. According to preliminary data, the servicemen were gathered in Kochenyovo to be sent to the Special Operations Zone. The publication writes, according to Sibir.Reli, one of those who left the military unit was 29-year-old Anatoly Petrovichev, a native of the village of Odinskoy in the Novosobirsk region. An acquaintance of Petrovichev confirmed that he had previously been in the combat zone in Ukraine. The interlocutor provided photographs of the man from a field camp allegedly near the front. According to the description among the SKPs, was also a resident of the Karatuski district of the Krasnoyarsk territory, Anatoly Serkin. In 2020, he received 2.5 years in a special regime colony for stealing a laptop. The man had previously been convicted several times for similar crimes. Thousands of Russian soldiers are deserting the army, according to Kyiv. Earlier, Ukraine's military intelligence agency said that troops under Russia's southern military district deployed to fight in the war are increasingly deserting their posts. Desertion has been an issue for Russia's military throughout Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Desertion from the Russian army carries a 10-year prison sentence. In February, a Russian anti-war project named Get Lost which was created to help Russian men evade or escape conscription in Ukraine, said cases of desertion from the Russian military increased tenfold this year.